What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and I get this question all the time. Alex, how do I change my life to go from being tired all the time, not motivated, not passionate, to being energized? passionate and successful. Well, it's about making small changes to your habits and routine that will push you forward and get you there. It's not one major change. It's not turning your life upside down. It's multiple small changes. When you do that, when you make those seven small adjustments and only then will you be able to reach your large goal. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alex and it is my job to teach you everything I know about men's fashion, men's hair, fitness, dating advice, so much more, just ways to improve your life. If that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button below and join the three million subscribers that we have here on this channel. All right. The first small change that you need to make, and this one will have a massive impact in the quality of your life, is improving your communication skills. I talk about this in my inner circle all the time. If you invest a few minutes a day to improving your communication skills, this will happen. You'll be better at holding a conversation with your friends and communicate your values in a much more meaningful way. You'll be able to speak up at work in a meeting or via email and express your thoughts and your feelings and ideas very clearly. You will be better at negotiating, whether it's your salary, a business deal, or something as simple as a location for your next date. And yes, that is considered a negotiation. Not to mention, you make more friends, feel more confident and comfortable in a group setting. I mean, I could go on for days. Communication is key in everything that you do. So invest time into reading, into listening to audiobooks, learning new words, talking in front of a camera, even if just for practice, even if you're never gonna post it anywhere. Trust me, it will change your life. Next up, spend less time on your phone. And I know about 70 to 80% of you are watching this on your phone right now. I get it, but you're here learning something and that's okay. What I mean here is spend less time looking at social media media for no reason. It is so easy to get caught up in today's online world. Every time I unlock my phone screen, there is always something new, a new email, new post from a friend, millions of new tweets. I mean, I could refresh my apps every 30 seconds and there's new content there, right? Well, that is not good. When you have to get something done, put your phone away. I actually put mine in my desk drawer that I have right there because I know that I won't get curious you know, if my phone flashes, if the screen flashes with a new message or a new email because I'm not gonna see it. Try your best to limit your time on your phone and watch as your productivity goes up. Change number three, go to bed earlier and wake up earlier. This is a life-changing habit that you need to develop. If you're gonna go to bed at midnight, you're not getting up until 9 or 10 a.m. You're starting your day behind everyone else already. All of those guys that woke up at 6 or 7 a.m. have been hustling for a few hours before you're even awake. They're winning and they're leaving you behind. You can do so much with those extra two to three hours in the morning. As you guys know, I am all about improving my performance, improving my health, and today's sponsor, Whoop, helps me do that every day by telling me exactly how much sleep I'm getting, how much recovery I get every night so that I can perform at the highest level the next day. Whoop is a fitness tracker that will give you deep insight about your body's recovery, strain, and sleep. It will tell you exactly how many hours you got of light sleep, deep sleep, REM, how many times you woke up at night. So here you can see that I woke up seven times last night and here's exactly when I woke up, which is crazy. This is so accurate, it's amazing. If I wake up feeling tired, I look at my data and I see why, because I went to bed late or I woke up a bunch of times and I'm like, oh, that makes sense, that is why I'm tired. I need to work on that. Plus, it tracks your calories burned, your workouts. As you can see here, I worked out twice today, had a busy day, and here are my stats for each time that I worked out. You know, it's insane how much you learn about yourself and your body with your whoop. And I even have a team here from subscribers, from you guys, that can join and see how everyone in the team is doing, which is one of my favorite features because it pushes me to work out harder, you know, to go to bed earlier because I know the stats are here in the group. By the way, this is optional. You can keep your stats private, but if you wanna join the team, I'll leave the team code below. And guys, the best part is that if you use my link below, the device itself is free and the first month of the service is also free. So you get started, you get all set up all for free. Guys, I will leave the link to your free whoop below. Make sure to check them out and when you get yours, join my team so we can push each other to do better every single day. Number four, this is very important. Change the way that you're talking to yourself. 
This might sound a little corny, but really think about this. The way you talk to yourself matters. Nobody can crush you like your own thoughts. Your own thoughts matter more than anything else because if you're constantly bringing yourself down, having negative thoughts and having a negative mindset in general, trust me, there is nothing that's gonna be able to lift you up because inside that is all you hear. Negativity, 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 which means you're always gonna be down there, you're always gonna be low. Nothing will be able to give you that passion, that energy and that positivity that you need to succeed. Guys, you can do anything you set your mind to, I know that sounds corny, but it's true, man. I'm an immigrant from Brazil. I moved here at 13 years old. I couldn't speak a word of English. I had nothing. Our family had nothing. And I'm so proud of what I've built, but that all started here. It has to start in here before you put it out there. So the lesson here is when you catch yourself being negative towards yourself, stop that. Say, hey, Alex, stop saying that, man. You can do this, you can do this. Go harder, I believe in myself, let's get it done. Remind yourself of your accomplishments, even if they're small. Remind yourself of your goals, of your family, of the people that love you, and move forward. Number five, set realistic timelines and goals. And this is, this is crazy important because I, I failed at this for so long. I was really horrible at setting realistic timelines. I would sit there and do my schedule every morning or every week, and I would say, yeah, I'll get this done in two hours, I'll get this done in 30 minutes, super easy, I'm gonna do so much tomorrow. And then the next day would come and I would fail badly because I didn't know how to manage that schedule because I wasn't being realistic. I would tell myself that I get a YouTube video done in three hours and that is not how it works. It takes way longer than that. I would give myself 15 minutes between the gym and my next task. That is not how it works. I'd have to come home, take a shower, change, maybe eat something. It doesn't take 15 minutes. It takes a little bit longer than that. So be realistic with your timelines. Otherwise, you are going to fail. You are gonna look at your schedule and you're gonna be late and all of a sudden you're not gonna feel good. So make sure that you're being very realistic with your calendar, your scheduling and your timeline. Even being realistic with your goals, right? For example, when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I used to look at guys who were like 26, 27, 28 and I'd be like, I'm gonna be married by the time I'm 28. I'm gonna have kids. I'm gonna have a huge house in this place and with kids and a dog. No, that did not happen. That is how it works. So you have to make sure that you're adjusting your timeline, adjusting your goals to match your actual life and your actual projections. The next small change that you need to make, and it's a daily change, constant thing that you keep working on, is watching less TV. Netflix is fun, and it's all fun and games until, you know, you got bills to pay and you haven't done anything. So you have to get work done. You know, I sometimes get sucked into series and then next thing I know, I look at my clock and I'm like, oh my God, I've been watching this. Like I've watched four or five episodes of this. That's like five, six hours. I need to stop. You just lost five, six hours right there, gone. Now I know there's a lot of online entrepreneurs out there that are like, you cannot watch Netflix. That is not what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying at all. As a matter of fact, I think you should. I just think you should spend less time watching TV, whether it's Netflix, HBO, even YouTube, it doesn't matter, anything that is entertainment. Dial it down a little bit, take that time and apply it somewhere else where you're going to be productive. And I will say this will also depend on where you are in your life, in your career. Sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you need a weekend off. Sometimes you need to binge all of the Lord of the Rings and the Harry Potters, who knows? It's okay to take a break, take a step back, breathe, and then start again the next day or on Monday. But if you're here telling me that you wanna be productive, that you wanna get your passion project done and out the door within the next month or so, don't be watching Netflix. That is just how it is. If, you, if you're doing that, you're wasting your time. My recommendation here is switch from that entertainment content to educational content that you're still learning things, you're still listening to someone that is semi-entertaining, but you're also learning something new. The next small change that you should make in your life is start working out in the morning if you don't. I feel like this, this is overlooked, man. I, I swear, this makes a huge difference. I used to work a nine to five for many, many years, decades, and I would get off work and go work out. And that did not work. You know why? Because you work all day from nine to five, right? You get off five, six, seven o'clock, 
And man, you are exhausted, either mentally or physically, depending on what you do. Either way, you don't want to go to the gym. You wanna go home. That's where you actually want to go. So instead of doing that, work out in the morning. Because then you cross that off your list, then you're done, then you go to work and then you get to go home right after the, the way you want to do it, right? You wanna go home, so why would you go to the gym? Go home instead, but make sure that you're crossing that off in the morning. This is what happened when I started working out in the morning. I felt way more motivated to work out because I would wake up still a little groggy, just like everyone else. Don't tell me you're not a morning person, you don't wanna work out in the morning. I get it, nobody likes to work out at six or 7 a.m. But as soon as you hit the gym, you're like, you know what? I'm feeling this, the pre-workout's kicking in, let's get this going. And then you go to work, you perform well, and then you get to go home and rest. My workouts were better, I had more energy at work, and I was going to bed earlier because I wasn't taking pre-workout at 6 p.m. Hey guys, speaking of working out, make sure that you get your free whoop in the description below, uh, and join the team. I'll leave the team invite code right in the description here as well. For more fashion and lifestyle inspiration, I post on TikTok and Instagram pretty much every single day, so go check that out, it's at Alex Costa. And if you learned anything new from today's video, and I really, really hope that you did, then hit that subscribe button below, man. I love helping you guys and teaching you as much as possible here on this channel hit that subscribe button below we just passed 3 million subscribers which is insane thank you guys so much for that and you know on to the next let's see if we can get 4 million in 2021 thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again very very soon peace